Alright, what's up guys? Another episode of Pixel Effect here. And with this video, I just kind of want to go through a few things that me myself would like to see in Shantae 5. You know, because we still haven't heard much about it because like I said, WayForward is working on Bloodstained and River City Ransom Girls. So, you know, but we'll get into that later, another video maybe. But, um, you know, I was trying to think, what, what would I want to see in the in the game, Shantae 5, you know, what, what are some things I want to see? And me, myself, personally, I came up with five things, technically four, five is just kind of a throwaway, that I want to see. The first being the story. Uh, Way Forward is notorious when it comes to Shantae for having, they, they trickle out information about the story. As many of you know, Shantae's mom left her when she was a little kid to protect the world from this great darkness. Her dad, who is heavily hinted at being, um, the silhouetted legendary hero it's heavily hinted that that is her dad you know he said that he doesn't remember his little girl but she he would wish that wish she was somebody like shante i'm pretty sure they're hinting that that is her dad and that since he's been in that region for so long you know where the souls go when they're trapped and pirates curse when you save them he said he's going to go look for her. i'm pretty sure shante's his daughter he's just forgotten her and hopefully they reveal that maybe. I also, like I said, want to see what this darkness is that Shantae's mom had to leave her kid and other genies had to leave their kids to go protect the world from. You know, if the Pirate Master was basically left on Shantae's planet and he was a huge threat, you know, from what we understand, I, I want to see how bad this other threat eclipses him. You know, it could be awesome. Like I said, I want to see what happened to Roddy Tops. What happened to her? How did she die? You know, but like I said, way for this, like I said, they trickle out information about the story and they kind of tease around it and hopefully they build upon it. You know, I don't know if it's because they don't know where they want to go with the story or they just like pushing out like that. But hopefully in five, we get a ton more information on characters, backstories and all this. Uh, number two, new forms, but we get that every game. So I'm not too worried about that, but I'd love to see new animal forms, you know, maybe a uh, uh, eagle or a hawk, puppy, uh, squid, you know, bring back mermaid form. I really love that form. It's adorable. But I like to see some new forms. You know, I can I can sit here and think all day. I can go pull up a zoo or a Wikipedia, some animals to see what kind of things we could get. Maybe Shantae's a scorpion. You know, who knows? I, I would like to see new forms, though. But I'm sure we'll get that. That's just like something I know we'll get more than likely. You know, we, we just got to wait. Um, number three. I'd love to see bigger worlds. And I don't mean the stages themselves. The stages are usually fine in their sizes. What I want to see is more worlds. Because if you remember in Shantae, Shantae Half the Hero, we only had about uh, five worlds, I believe. You had the uh, Sequin Land, you had the Desert, you had the Racetrack, you had Hypno Baron's Castle, and Shantae's Hideout. Yeah, we had five levels. And if I'm not mistaken, um, one of those was only added because we hit the Kickstarter goal for it. I want to say two, but I know for certain one only got added because the Kickstarter goes. So Shantae Half Genie Hero could have been much smaller than it actually was. So I want to see more worlds. Like I said, not the stages themselves. They're usually fine, but just more worlds. You know, give me give me 10 worlds. That'd be pretty sweet. Sure, it'll push out speed running a little bit, but I still think it'd be worth it to have more worlds built upon the series and just go to new places. Number four, more characters. Uh, bring back old characters like the um, lady from Pirate's Curse who would crush squid babies to give you more hearts. Um, bring new characters. Wayford has stated that um, other genies besides just Shantae's mom left to protect the world with her. And so that means they left their kids too on the planet. And I'd love to see what they're like. We met one in Half Genie Hero. We don't know if she had a mom or not, our parents, but um, I like to see more genies. I want to see how they act towards Shantae, how Shantae acts towards them. Are they going to be snobbish? Are they going to be nice? Are they going to be, you know, aggressive? You know, I want to see different types of other genies, you know. Um, that'd be kind of sweet. Like I said, it's been hinted at that. I'd like to see um, other playable characters maybe in the game. 
because I really enjoyed playing as Risky Boots and Roddy Thompson and all in Sky. Well, Sky was really heavy. I didn't like Sky that much. But I'd like to see more characters to be able to be played as, you know, maybe other modes. I'm not sure how big of a scale Shantae 5 is going to be, you know. We don't know if it's going to be the size of Hatchet and Hero. Or to go on full scale, making it, you know, all this stuff I've said so far, they're going to add it, you know. We don't know yet. But I'd love to see other characters in the game again. Um, old characters, I'm sure, going to come back. Hypno Baron, Squid Baron. But I want to see new characters. I always like seeing what the creators at Way For It can do. Like Giga Mermaid, she was an awesome addition to the story. I'd like to see more about her lore and what she does in her region. Maybe we can go explore her, but you know, we'll see. And number five is I'd like to see a random collector's edition for the game. Like I said, this is my throwaway one, you know, but I'd love to see a collector's edition for this game. A soundtrack, not a sound sample, my God. If you want to tick me off, the worst thing you can do with collector's editions are put in sound selections and not the actual soundtracks. And I know they do that to get more money because they sell it the next few weeks on Amazon in Japan for like $40. But there's so many times I've bought in collector's editions with them saying that it's going to come to the soundtrack. And when you get it and open it, it's literally just like five tracks out of like 80 or 10 tracks out of like 90 because it's basically just a sound selection like... We just pick, you know, 10 random tracks from this track of 90 to let you guys listen to, you know, I'm like, wh why? You just don't include that in the in the set and just give me something else. Give me a figurine or a statue or something. I'd love to see a Shantae statue, a poster, a game, hardcover, art book, you know, something like that. I doubt we'll get any of that right away. Uh, limited runs may do something, but I highly doubt we'll get any kind of set with this game. But it'd be kind of neat to see. And, um, you know, those are just some things I want to see in Shantae 5 myself. So, you know, I, I have hope the game is going to be great. Like, I think it's going to be a great game. I'm looking forward to it. The new art style, which is kind of a mix of Pirate's Curse and half Shining Hero, looks awesome. And, like I said, it, it should come out pretty good. And now that Wave Forward has basically been working on, like I said earlier in the video, Bloodstain. They finished work on that pretty much. Bloodstained set the ship out next month. So that tells me they're pretty much done with it so they can focus on Shantae 5 and River, River City Ransom Girls. Um, that game should be interesting also because I said I'm a huge River City fan. Like I said, it's an old game and unless you get it on the DS or something, it's a, it's a hit or miss. You have to basically know it to understand it. But knowing Way4 is working on it, I have high hopes for it. Because knowing their character models and how they treat their characters, I think it's going to be great. Now we just have to wait and see. And I know they said we won't hear anything about this game until later this year. And with them saying that, I'm guessing late July, early August is when we'll get a teaser of it. And it won't come out until maybe, I'm guessing late October is when we'll see it. Late October or early November is when we'll see this game. Maybe. Because I'm pretty sure half I mean, sorry, Shantae 5, sorry, I don't know if I said sorry, sorry, Shantae 5 more than likely is going to come out September. I want to guess September, honestly. Um, actually, it's going to come out with the launch of that extra, that other system. Um, my God, my mind is drawn to blank because it tells you how much I care about it. It's the, um, oh my God, what is it? Now, see, guys, now I got to look it up. I'm so sorry, because <laughs> it's like it's another game system that I don't really care for. And I guarantee it's something Google um, Google's involved with. I guarantee it. It is coming out for Apple Arcade. That's what it was. Apple Arcade. So which is going to be on PCs, you know, so I'm not going to get it on Ar Apple Arcade just because it's going to come out for other systems. But, you know, Oh my God, it makes me so happy because one of the top videos for Shantae 5 is me. That just makes me so happy right now. Literally, I got a tear in my eye. Like you guys have no idea how much that means to me. Like I just Googled Shantae 5 and the top three searches on the videos, for me at least, like I know sometimes it, it sorts it for what you look at, but for me it's Game Explain, Wreck-It Ryan, and me. Like I, I can't tell you guys how much that means to me to see Shantae 5 pop up with me like that, that's just wow. 
just just wow like i got chills going to my spine right now guys like seriously and honestly i can't take credit for that it's you guys who watch these videos and who comment on my stuff on the community tab like i said always guys thank you like i said i can't do this without you guys you know i, I just enjoy having you guys comment on stuff i like seeing you guys upvote stuff i get a kick out of people downvoting stuff because i don't really make money from these videos so it's kind of funny sometimes um but it tells me what to improve on what to change topics that are touchy for you guys it's it's all good and it means a lot to me guys seriously but you know i'm hoping to keep improving and i'm hoping you know we're close to 5,000 subscribers we're growing slowly but surely i cannot wait to the day when i hit 10,000. like i, I know it's going to happen soon i just got to keep at it but i cannot wait guys and it's only going to get better from here on out i'm sure you know i still gotta finish grad school I got two classes to knock out this summer. That's going to take a load off on me. I'll just have two classes left after that. And then when I finish, I can focus more heavily on this stuff. Like I can focus on streams more, you know, right now, you know, grad school takes up a lot of time, you know, studying and tutors. So I can't really commit to streaming like I want to. When I finish, I can just go full head into it. Um, hopefully I'll have my house within the next few months. So I can actually set up a game room so I can actually do videos like this, but actually record myself sometimes if I want to, you know, in an actual game room setup instead of just my living room, you know, but for now, guys, that's it. Let me know what you want to see in the Shantae 5. Um, any new characters, uh, any kind of forms you want to see. Let me uh, let me know ideas that you guys want to see in Shantae 5. But for now, guys, that's it. You got to get out of here. got to get this processed, uploaded, and work on some soundtrack videos for people, so. I'll see you guys.